Hey, what is up guys? Dusty here, and I'm bringing you another gameplay. This one is a Ground War Kill Confirmed, I believe, on Underground. I'm using the ACR, and I'm using the Assault Package again. This is a pretty exciting gameplay. I got it a few weeks ago, and it's kind of just been sitting in my vault for a while, so I figured I'd use it for this uh, video, just because it's pretty entertaining. I think it's kind of action-packed. I end up with 54 kills, so not a mind-blowing number or anything, but overall it was a solid game, and I was pretty happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But for this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the guns that people consider overpowered. And if you look at the title of the video, you'll probably know what I'm getting at. And I'm talking specifically about guns like the Type 95, the Dual FMGs, um, I guess the Striker pre-patch, and even the MP7, I guess, a little bit. If you go on YouTube and you... Oh, Ninja Diffuse, look at that. <laughs> but anyway, if you go on YouTube and you look at a gameplay commentary and the guy is using, if someone's using like dual FMGs a lot or if they're using god forbid the Type 95 their videos are usually greeted with unbelievable amounts of hate and I think it's kind of silly and a little bit unnecessary mainly because I don't think that these weapons are overpowered at all they are mainly just overused and let me clarify what I'm trying to say here Personally, I think that for a gun to be considered overpowered, it has to make a bad player decent, or it has to make a decent player good, or a good player great. And I just don't think that guns like the Type 95 or the FMGs fall into that category. I thought the FAMAS in Black Ops was more overpowered than any gun in this game is, even though I think that was still a stretch. But in this game, the Type 95 is really just overused. You see so many people using it, but it really doesn't make them better. Like. Most of the people that I see that use the Type 95 are people that just kind of like to camp or play really defensively and slow, and by the end of the game, they never really have that great of a score. They're usually around 500 or, you know, sometimes even a little bit worse. It's just kind of the gun that everyone kind of knows is the best assault rifle in the game, and it honestly probably is the best assault rifle, but it's not the best by that big of a margin. Most of the time, people get upset with the Type 95 users because every time they die by them, you know, they're either head glitching or they're camping in some corner or they're playing super defensively, just aimed down the site, looking at an objective or something. So everyone gets killed by that person. They see the Type 95 and they just think, oh, the Type 95, that gun is awful or, you know, so overpowered, get rid of it. But in reality, they would have probably died if the person was using any gun. If the person is camping an objective or, you know, head glitching, they're probably going to get a kill with any gun they want. The Type 95 is just the easiest one to use in those situations. So people get mad and blame the gun or the game and say it sucks, but really, if you get killed over and over by this type of person, you probably need to change up your strategy a little bit. I have no problem with the people that use the Type 95 in this way, because usually I end up doing good against them. Not to sound like cocky or anything like that, but I mean, if someone's sitting there head glitching with the Type 95 behind a piece of cover the whole game, Eventually, I'm gonna go a different route, flank them, and just tank them out. It's really not that hard to do, and up close and at medium range, the Type 95 just really isn't that great. When I usually rush around with either a submachine gun or an automatic assault rifle, if they miss the first burst, they're pretty much done. Sometimes they don't even get a chance to get that first burst off. So really, the only reason the Type 95 is considered overpowered is because it's pretty great at long range. But, there are plenty of ways to counter that, and I just don't think it makes a bad player great. Moving on. Uh, the dual FMGs. This is probably the closest thing you'll find to an overpowered gun in this game. And that's just because, in a close range situation, if two people turn the corner at the same time, someone has FMGs, the other person has any other gun in the game, the FMGs will win every single time. Both guys are on target. And, you know, I guess that could be considered the definition of overpowered. The reason I don't think they are is because at medium range they're basically useless, you don't get kills with them very often, and at long range they're 100% useless. People only hate them because of guys that run around in short range situations with them, but the reason I don't think they're overpowered is because any guy I see doing this usually ends up going negative anyway. Reason being is that, you know, they're not silenced weapons, everyone knows exactly where the guy is the moment he starts firing, and after like the first minute of a game, if you know someone's gonna be doing that, you know exactly what area they're going to be in at all times, and you can either avoid the area or, you know, take special precautions before going into it. And I think it's really easy to counter the dual FMGs, you pretty much stay at long range and take them out with any other gun, and even some machine guns with rapid fire can compete with them at close range, it's just a little bit tough. So that's the closest thing to being overpowered, but usually the people that use those suck anyway, and I just don't think those guns change that. Oh, terrible martyrdom right there. So basically what I'm getting at is that so many people use these guns and everyone calls them overpowered, but I think that 
people are just more mad at the people using the gun, and they just want to blame the gun. Like, if someone keeps running into the same room over and over and over and over again, and they keep getting killed by the same dual FMGs guy, they'll sit there and say, Oh, Modern Warfare 3 sucks. Why didn't they fix this? Why don't they patch this gun? But really, it's like, dude, stop running into that room. <laughs> it's your own fault that this is happening, yet you just want to complain and blame everything else. So that's just really my thought on it. And personally, I don't have a problem with anyone using any gun. As for the first thing I mentioned, when people complain on YouTube about, oh, you can't use this gun, you can't use this gun, it's like, come on, it's a video game, let people use whatever guns they want. And if you're out there and you're someone that, you know, maybe posts videos a little bit, but you're ashamed to use a certain gun or something like that, or you don't want to be seen like a noob, oh, this guy just owns me right here, <laughs> that was awful, but I pay him back right here at this predator. Sorry for interrupting myself. But yeah, my opinion is just use whatever gun makes you happy. If the Type 95 is your favorite gun in the game and you're afraid to use it because you don't want to be trolled or flamed or something online, I say who cares? Screw everyone else. Use the gun. I mean, don't be dirty with it. Don't sit in one spot and head glitch the whole game. Get a couple kills, move on, you know, do stuff like that. Don't be a dirty player with the gun. But in my opinion, just use whatever gun you want. And as for the MP7, I mentioned that earlier. That's my favorite gun and that is starting to get a little bit of hate online. Personally, I don't think that's overpowered at all. It's just kind of, it's probably the best all-around gun in the game, but it can still be killed by in, by pretty much any other gun. Any other gun can compete with it. It's just probably the best all-around gun. I'm talking about the MP7 here. And it's my favorite gun. I'm trying to cut down on it because it is, again, overused. I don't want every video to be just MP7. But, you know, we'll see what I can do. Anyway, that's it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and well, I'll see you later.